here I'm testing the uh, performance of another DC treadmill motor which I picked up off eBay quite cheap this is about uh, 30 pounds new Chinese made in case you can't read the labels 180 volts DC seven and a half amps 1100 watts at uh, very low speed from compared with most of them 3700 rpm uh, this is quite a crude test, not particularly scientific. Drill powering up the motor, a multimeter. The thing that I'm finding with this though is that it's performing really very well compared with the one that's on the turbine at the moment. If I just give the, that's a quick flick. And instantly, we're well over 10 volts. And as you can see, that's only a few RPM there. So it appears that there's quite a bit of variation in these motors. Again, that's reasonably quite slow. No rev counter, so it's not scientific, but as you can see, we're we doing there a couple of hundred RPM maybe. And this is kind of infinitely better than the previous motors, so I might consider mounting this one. Um, and swapping out the one that's already on the wind turbine. This motor also appears to be a lot heavier physically than the other one. I'd have expected similar performance but obviously not. Okay, might help me with my battery charging. Let's see how this goes. Um, if as and when I get this up on top of the pole, I'll update the video. Thanks very much. This is quite an interesting experiment for those of you who are into this sort of thing. I've actually got the uh, Dynamo, the treadmill motor previously tested, now hooked into a solar um, MPPT controller. For those that you don't know, it's maximum power point tracking designed for solar panels um, but this is quite an interesting experiment I'm going to run this up so the charge light comes on it's now on it's on constantly but obviously unlike the wind turbine this is quite a um, fixed speed setup as you can hear from the drill now the more I try and increase the speed of the drill squeezing the trigger the voltage is going up very little I've got the polarity reversed but that doesn't really matter so the controller appears to be tying the motor in quite adequately to the charging voltage of the battery still shows that it's charging Applying more and more, I'm squeezing the trigger on the drill, the voltage is going up very little, but it's, I can feel the torque on the handle of the drill. That's it, we become disconnected. Okay, interesting stuff. So maybe a solar controller will do as long as the uh, voltage is high enough which from that looks like 25.5 volts, anything over that would appear to be um, converted to extra current uh, due to the uh, torque increasing on the drill and it pulling around in my hand. Okay, that's it. Here's a uh, logical extension of the last experiment. Again, there's the uh, solar um, MPPT uh, controller 15 amp this is the voltage at the moment of the battery bank 
12.4 volts so it's got some way to being fully charged ok and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, DC treadmill motor to pump some power into the solar controller and see what happens so let's start again so now Stabilised, 25.4 volts going in, doesn't matter how much harder I rev the motor. Charging. Twenty-five point four on the battery bank. Twenty-five point five going in. the controller charging. So it looks like the controller very well ties in the output from the motor to the um, charging voltage of the battery bank, which is interesting. I'll try taking it up a bit more. drill and duct tape on the end of the shaft. Okay, something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> 